Hello, um, all my brothers and sisters in Christ. I guess this will go up on YouTube. I wanted to share with you a moment this video made by Stephen Denoon. Oh, it's Rarely News Live is his channel. And the video is called Biden Administration Downplays Threat Level on, on La Palma. And let's take a listen for a couple minutes and then I want to say something. Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live, and I uh, wanted to kind of come back again with this situation on La Palma. And not just La Palma Island, but also I wanted to kind of discuss uh, some issues there that are going on uh, as well with the, uh, the Alaskan Aleutian Islands, another major volcano, uh, volcanic eruption. Uh, it's actually not erupted at this point here. But there is concern that it, that it is in that process, and uh, how Turner had brought this out over on uh, his uh, platform there. Seismologists have stated that a major volcanic eruption is underway with hazardous activity both on the ground and in the air. Seismic observa uh, observations represent an increase in the eruptive activity at the site of the volcano. Scientists have upgraded the aviation color code and volcano alert level to a red warning that is what uh how turner is reporting of course he reported this here october 20th 2021 uh, but what i found interesting about this is what we had reported as well when it came to la palma uh, and that is in this article here businessinsider.com u.s coast guard Cutters shadow Chinese warships sailing near remote U.S. territory in Alaska. Well, happen to be that remote territory is the Aleutian Island, uh, there or where the the uh, volcano would be. Four Chinese Navy. So are they going to make that one go off too? Because he heard intel on another video saying the Chinese and Russians were colluding, according to his source to do something to the Canary Islands to make it blow. Now look, it's blowing, blowing. Thousands have been evacuated, many homes on fire, as you saw in the picture at the beginning. Okay, let me play some more. The vessels were recently spotted operating in waters near Alaska's Aleutia Islands. The U.S. Coast Guard said in a statement Monday, the People's Liberation Army Navy Task Force comprising a guided missile cruiser and a guided missile destroyer, a general intelligence vessel and an auxiliary vessel was conducting military and surveillance operations in the Bering Sea and the North Pacific Ocean. Now, doesn't that just seem a little bit suspicious? I think so. so. We had spoke about how that the Chinese, uh, specifically the Chinese and Russians, I was told back on September the 8th, that they would actually try to do use some type of device to set off the volcano on the Canary Islands. And then on, what was it, September, September 13th, 11th, we had, activity. We had activity. I didn't actually share that with you guys on the 13th, and I'm still trying to find it. was the 11th, place Steve. I know I actually did speak about it after the swarm had already begun. Uh, that was on the 17th, but the swarm had already begun. I was told about Oh, great. Get your hands off of my computer. Get your hands off of my computer in Jesus' name. On the 8th, uh, I shared it with uh, my FEMA source as well. At that time, that's one of the reasons why I found out about the information. We were trying to understand better about the lava that was flowing under New York. And that's how the subject came up for me. Uh, and it may have actually been on uh, Hebrew Nation Radio with Bonnie Harvey that I mentioned this. Uh, still trying to track down that particular part, but it doesn't really matter. The point is, is we knew about it. Uh, there are several people I shared that information with at the time. Uh, and that ended up being that it was China alone that is uh, kind of hammering away over here at La Palma. And now we get this information coming up, the Chinese military up near the... Alaskan uh, Aleutia uh, Island there where we have the volcano up there. It seems a bit suspicious and if this is really the case 
then it is a war on the United States being conducted by whether weapons, you might call it, manipulative weapons in order to create seismic activity or volcanic activity that in turn would cause destruction to the U.S. mainland. Now, there are those... Okay, I'm going to try to see if I can scoot ahead and find him talking where it's maybe the wrong video. He was at a meeting where he heard them say they were not going to, to uh, warn Americans. The Biden administration had a meeting and they decided they were not going to warn Americans about this. They're downplaying it because they don't want anybody to panic. No, just let them sit there in, on their inner beach homes and, and 100 mile inland, however far it could go. And just get over inundated with water. Now, what I want to say, you can listen to this if you want. I want, I want to just say a few words, just a few words here. All right. As many of you know, I'm on Grafted in Team Jesus. And um, Kathy and Dan have been covering this. They've been doing live streams and so forth on some of these videos that are popping up and all the information is breaking that they can do okay those of us who are ready to go to heaven with jesus as part of his bride or the 144k however you look at it the barley harvest is what jesus called it to me and i had other messages where he called us the brides his bride it's not one person. Those of you who believe it's one person, although you're probably not on my channel, <laughs> probably commented and you were gone. Uh, it's, it's a multitude. It's a remnant of those of us who follow him truly. We love him. We obey him. We're not perfect. We are so not perfect, but we're trying to get rid of all the demons that have come into us. Yes, Christians get demons from generational curses, familial curses, or sins. And even as children, if your parents argue and fight and rage while you're in utero, you could end up with a de demonic spirit of rage and anger you're born with. Don't ask me how, okay? Take it up with the Lord. All I know is I had many and I've gotten rid of them. And that's what Grafted in Team Jesus does. And yes, we're very excited that all this stuff is culminating to show us that Jesus is coming at any moment. And we're excited. Are we excited about people dying that aren't ready to go to heaven that are still savable? No. That's ridiculous. So Kathy gets a bit excited. Oh, the Jesus is coming because of watching all these different things play out that are happening simultaneously. Not just the Palma. Yellowstone looks like it's going to blow. Now we're talking the Aleutian Islands. We're talking China and Russia. Well, now he's changing it to just maybe China is the perpetrator. But I know that all the kings of the world are consulting together because of Psalm 2, which I talked about um, Sunday, a week ago, maybe. It starts off with Psalm 141. I go into Psalm 2, and then I do a little teaching on how all these world leaders are not against each other. No, they're colluding together. To bring about the new world order. And that is all part of bringing out the Antichrist and us going. The Bride of Christ, the 144,000, his warriors, will be leaving. We're going outside of time. We're going to get our glorified bodies, our instructions. We're going to come back. We are going to visit time. Outside of time, within time, and it's hard to explain, but we're going to come back and help those who were left behind who have not eaten the cookies. Got it? So, 
I know there have to be millions of people on the eastern coast, including Florida, possibly the Gulf of Mexico, plus the Philippines, plus the Caribbean islands, plus Europe, because it'll go up, upwards, whereas the U where the UK uh, and all that is, that eastern, what you would call the western side of Europe, I guess, because if you go this way, it's east. Okay. So I don't believe for a moment nobody that is a true Christian, born-again believer is excited about anybody dying that is not ready to meet the Lord but are still savable. No, we're not excited about that. We're excited about the fact that things are finally looking like any minute now we're out of here. Who wants to remain on this world when we have nothing to do with it? If you have truly come out of the world, you don't want to be here. You don't want to go to their movies. You don't need, you don't want even enjoy the ball games and television, secular music. It's all evil. All the TV commercials are full of filth. All, even when you're on a Christian site or a like a news site that allows ads I think even some of these YouTube videos that allow ads I don't know if they still do or not I don't watch a whole lot of them I watch what I'm sent shared just that they're Half nudes. What did I share the other day? Messages from the letter from Dawn, right? Messages from the Lord that came to me an email from from uh, the lady named Dawn, who's overseas, and the Lord called them half nudes. He's not happy with them. Okay, that's just one little aspect, one little thing to mention of all the filth going on in the world. And I, for one, am sick and tired of being here, having to deal with it, having to deal with people lying, having to deal with uh, them versus me, where I live. Where you live, it might be them versus us, but there's really not that many of us. So more likely than not, if you're like me, you're in the barley harvest and you know it it's them versus me because you're living differently are your Christian friends still doing the worldly things are they still inviting you to parties they might not even be bad but you know if you go all you're gonna hear is gossip and world oh did you see that Netflix special last night on blah 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 and no I didn't because I don't watch that stuff oh okay well did you happen to catch the blah, 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 blah? you get what I'm saying it's you against them even if all of them claim to be children of God oh I'm born again I still believe that Jesus is on the throne don't think I don't believe that but you, what do you watch every night? How often are you in your word? How often are they, I should say, not you? If you're watching my channel, you're probably not one of them. But I know I have lurkers. And I know I have at least one that doesn't even believe Jesus Christ is his Savior. And if you see this, you know who I'm talking about. And I want you to be saved. I want you to give your life to Jesus. I wouldn't waste my time. I wouldn't waste my breath doing this if I didn't think I could maybe get one more. Just one more, Lord. Just one more today. Let one more see that How to Be Saved video. Let one more hear that message I did last Sunday. They get very few views. The videos that could really help somebody get to heaven. Those who are still savable. Those are the ones we want to come back in time.
come back with our glorified bodies, those are the people we'll be helping. Getting rid of their demons, getting rid of getting them to repent and accept Jesus as their Savior, and then we can get rid of their demons. You have to repent and, and denounce your association with this denomination or that denomination or this group or that group. You have to denounce it and renounce it. I think that's renounce, denounce. I'm not sure. Anyway, so the U.S. is playing this down. And yes, because of it, when the Palma breaks off, as it is said it's going to, and now Steve is saying, his source is telling him they're making it happen. If God allows it, it will happen. You see, man makes his plans, but God is still on the throne. God might want to send an asteroid into the ocean to cause that tsunami, but a tsunami is coming. To the whole eastern coast, Florida will be underwater. It'll probably go into the Gulf of Mexico and force that New Madrid fault to... It'll be so much pressure built up that it will crack. And that water will rush up the Mississippi River, which will now be like a, like a big lake going all the way up to Lake Superior and Lake Michigan. And all the Great Lakes will be melded with it. Can you imagine that? How many souls will die? How many people will be not ready because they didn't want to hear it? Oh, they didn't want the cookies because they know that people are dying, man. And this one over here, she's got something really weird with her face, you know, and can't even walk anymore. No thanks. And my best friend, he dropped dead on the soccer field with his heart. I don't want it, but they don't want Christ either. Those are the people that are savable. <laughs> so many Christians done already took it. They ate the cookies because their pastor said, Take it. It's our civic duty and responsibility, and it's our God or something, something. I don't know. I don't watch them. I've just heard little snippets of what this pastor said or that pastor said and using Romans Romans there's a verse that talks about obeying your government not in this case you don't obey the government when they're telling you to do something that goes against God's word otherwise yes you obey the speed limit you pay your taxes you you if you're in a community that says you keep your grass cut under two inches or you're going to be fined, well, keep your grass cut. That's usually those communities you buy into. Anyway, that's way off the subject. I guess I've said enough. Just know this. Nobody on Grafted In Team Jesus is excited about anybody dying. And, and I pray that the person who wrote to the team and said that um i'm sure it's none of you i'm just i just don't feel it'd be any of you i don't think that people who are truly ready and looking for jesus to come truly understand how we can be excited at the thought of seeing jesus we're so ready to leave this world but nobody wants to see people die and go to hell when they're all, when they're still savable. So please keep in your prayers all the people that could be affected by this tragedy or any tragedy. If you wouldn't mind saying a prayer, Father, if it's your will, let somebody reach those people who still need to accept Jesus as their savior. God's not going to call everybody. You have to be called in order to be chosen. In order for you to choose Jesus. 
That's in the Bible. Let's look it up. Let me see if I can figure out how to how to word it. Um, let's see. How can I be let's see, saved lest I am called? I don't think that's right. Let's see, but let's see what that gets us. No, that's not it. That's not right. All right, let's try some different wording. You must be called by God in 